Hi everyone, and welcome to this episode of Cooking 100 Year Old Recipes. This week I'm making strawberry shortcake. First, I'm going to macerate the strawberries. So I'm hulling them, chopping them up, and letting them rest in some sugar. And the recipe instruct, well, instructs to put the strawberries and sugars on the back of the stove where it's just a little bit warm while you prepare the actual shortcake. I was curious to try this recipe, which is one of three strawberry shortcake recipes in the book, all of which have a biscuit type of base. My experience with strawberry shortcake has always been a sweetened baking powder biscuit style shortcake. And this recipe that I'm making, and I don't know that the others turn out like this, although they seem to have a very similar combination of butter and flour ratio. It's somewhere between a shortbread cookie, a pie pastry, and cake. So it's going to look a little bit dense, but it's still very tender with a nice crumb and all the juices that come off of the strawberries will soak into that cookie-like base. So I'm doing a layer of sugar and strawberries and then I add some more strawberries and a little more sugar just to make sure I get plenty of strawberry sauce to put over my base when I serve it. In the short crust and I use my trusty Cuisinart smart stick mini processor base to cut the butter into the flour and I'll link all the items I'm using below in the description Just a few pulses will get the butter combined. Then I'm going to take the top off and add in some sugar, some salt, and baking powder and pulse it just a little bit again to combine everything. Moisten it with some whole milk and a very few pulses to bring it together. I want to work the dough as little as possible so that it stays tender. And if you've seen my other videos, you know I use a pastry cloth for my bread and dough making. I find it helps me minimize how much I handle it and it keeps the warmth of my hands off of the dough and it's less messy. These are antique towels. They're from my great aunt. And there's a little bit of a roll, not too much. You see how soft the dough is? And then I will press it into my buttered baking pan. And I like it to look a little bit rough and rustic. And I'll use the back of my fingers as instructed to press it into place. And the pan really just helps it keep a round shape. 
You could probably freeform it like a galette if you like, but I'm following the book. That's the point of this channel. Alright, and once it's done and out of the oven, it's the bottom, it has a little bit of color. Don't want to overbake it. No one wants a dry, short crust. And I'm gonna let that cool while I make what is called the cream sauce. I was highly dubious about making this because it's cream and milk whipped together and I wasn't sure it would thicken up, but I had to trust the process. So I'm using three parts cream to one part whole milk. And I will use the whisk attachment of the Smart Stick Blender. a lot easier than pulling out a stand mixer or a hand mixer for this amount. Even if I was doing double, I would still use it. And it doesn't whip up quite as quickly as cream does, but it came together pretty fast. Once I got it to a soft peak, I add in something to flavor it, which the recipe calls for powdered sugar and vanilla that makes it extra delicious. to combine the flavorings into the cream and you can see it's soft not quite pourable but spoonable so it will spread and now we get the juicy strawberries and lay it over the base it's such a simple but delicious dessert in the warm weather it tastes like summer to me. There's the cream sauce. It really is a nice texture. I'm glad I attempted this because I would not have thought before to add milk to the cream. You can under whip cream, of course, to get this texture, but yeah, it's a nice little trick, isn't it? The cow inviting, that is, with the pillowy cream and vibrant, juicy strawberries and that buttery base. You see how it's a little bit soft and the crumb that's coming off of it like a shortbread cookie, but with the softness of a cake. It's delicious. <laughs> 